because so many people uh. asked me uh, how to do business in okay. Japan okay. because uh, India is growing very rapidly. Okay. So many people are, are looking into exporting things mm. and establishing a come to Japan. Mm. Uh, so I thought it is a best opportunity okay. uh, to introduce uh, your experience. Okay. Okay. So uh, once you came here, mm. uh, you approached uh, Jetro okay. or you approached which, which section of Japan which promotes uh, business in Japan? See, I initially uh, approached, uh, of course, Jetro is one organization, but Jetro didn't really provide the full-fledged information that was required. Mm. Then uh, I was able to get some information from Mipro. Mipro? Yeah. What is Mipro? Uh, Mipro is Manufactured Industrial Products uh, Organization, which mm. is a government uh, established organization. They help and guide people uh, who uh, manufacture goods from uh, out of the uh, country which is Japan mm. and then try to bring that product to Japan and mm. then sell it uh, within the Japan so they provide uh, you know uh, a broad level guidelines uh, oh, uh, then you went to I mean they gave the guidelines yes yes and yes. Uh, after that whom you met so once I studied the guidelines I've understood that uh, there is a separate division called Torsbeck TOSBEC. TOSBEC. Uh, uh, yeah, TOSBEC. Mm. It's a government organization again. Mm. Uh, so like Tokyo One Stop Business Establishment Center. So Tokyo One Stop Business Establishment Center. Center. TOSBEC. TOSBEC. Mm. They have about uh, three, three offices in Tokyo. Mm. And uh, this is promoted by Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Specific to Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Only, this only does not apply to other parts of Japan. This is only in Tokyo. So if you are going to start business in Tokyo, then this applies. Yes, Suppose yes, if yes. you go to Osaka, then it's a different Different operation. organization. But I think the Osaka also, they have they some organization, something like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But Mipro can help you. Mm -hmm. Because Mipro is uh, promoted by Japanese uh, government. Mm. So as I told you, this is my first time to Japan, so language is the preliminary constraint here. So nobody speaks English and nobody knows any other language other than Japanese. Uh, so I was solely surviving on uh, Google Translator. So, But of course that also helped me in terms of uh, only getting that information which is required rather than just uh, uh, scouting for all the unwanted information. And people are very helpful if you try to ask them the, uh, to help uh, they would definitely you know, do it in, gen in general. So that is not a... I would say language is not a barrier, but still that is the hurdle. So you need to handle it uh, the way that it uh, suits to you. Hmm. But I would recommend if you can learn a little bit of Japanese, uh, like a uh, you know, few words uh, which are in common spoken in general, that would actually help. So initially I tried to help him out of my working hours uh, sometimes. Uh, so for example, he speaks in English and I have to translate in Japanese. Mm. The other person only speaks in Japanese. So it will take double the time yes, uh, yes, to yes. get the information and translate it and it takes a lot of, uh, lot time, of time and all that. Yeah. Hello friends, uh, I'm your Japan side speaking. Hope you are all doing very fine. And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how to come to Japan on a business visa and how to apply and uh, how to get approvals or how difficult or how easy it is and what is the potential in Japan to for an Indian businessman to come and explore here. So uh, now I am going to introduce my friend uh, Mr. Gunaranjan. Uh, Gunaranjan, can you? Namaste. Can you tell uh, my viewers uh, about, because so many people huh. ask me uh, how to do business in okay. Japan okay. because uh, India is growing very rapidly. Okay. So many people are, are looking into exporting things mm. and establishing a come to Japan. Mm. Uh, so I thought it is a best opportunity okay. uh, to introduce uh, your experience. Okay. Uh, so can you please uh, brief yourself a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Namaste Sai Garu, thank you for this uh, opportunity to uh, present my views uh, in terms of uh, uh, starting or perceiving the business in Japan. Uh, my name is uh, Gunaranjan, so I worked uh, as a head of IT for uh, Amaron Batteries uh, uh, for about 18 years and then uh, I left and uh, you know, I started uh, my own businesses. Now. Uh, <coughs> I came to Japan about uh, mm, mm, two years back, uh, so 
for exploring the business opportunities here. Mm. Uh, so the, the process is little uh, time consuming. So what we will do tedious. is uh, we will uh, see how it initially started. Okay. And we will go step by step okay. as if somebody coming from India. Okay. Uh, they are going. They are in your position. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. coming here. Just, I got it. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, how they approach. Okay. Like, so from the beginning, though this uh, video might go a little longer. Okay. Uh, but I wanted to give a clear picture. Okay. Or uh, uh, remove the clouds in the mind of okay. people. Okay. So so first uh, uh, we will call Gunaranjan as Guna. Uh, okay. He's from Andhra Pradesh, uh, pure Telugu. Okay. Uh, and uh, he uh, first he wanted to come to Japan, but uh, you know Japanese visa process is very, very compli yeah. complicated. Yes. Yes. So when he applied for visa, uh, they gave only 15 days. Yes, yes. 15 days, and they were not ready to extend it. Yes, yes. So uh, because of a good relation, he uh, approached me, and uh, I have uh, sponsored him. Yes. And uh, and sponsoring is not easy eh, in Japan because you need to give a bond kind of a bond and uh, that uh, you need to you know make take care of the person his uh, expenses his health and make sure that he return back and so many things are there yeah. so in japan when you write a uh, agreement i mean if you give a sponsorship it's equal to uh, in case of something happen it's equal to uh, 3 crores or 4 crores worth of risk mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. uh, so in japan nobody generally uh, gives sponsorship to uh, anybody it is a bit complicated but uh, because of the good uh, understanding I, I have provided that so uh, because of that they gave maybe you can tell how yeah, yeah. so initially I have applied for a, a family visiting visa so that uh, I got it for 90 days uh, because of the uh, you know uh, uh, Sai being a guarantor to that hmm. as, as he explained so that is uh, mandatory <clears throat> as a part of uh, getting a long term visa which is about 90 days like 3 months so in this visa we need to give uh, all my financial data where i am working how much tax i am paying for past many years and uh, the relationship and uh, uh, the guarantee the accommodation food and everything we have to declare everything and uh, give proper address and where i am working the certificate from my company and uh, from the ward office, uh, city office that uh, all my details uh, and I have to write a letter to the embassy. So there is a lot of procedure. Uh, so we passed through all that and uh, Guna arrived uh, to Japan and got a 90 days visa. Yes, yes, yes. So once you get that, I think that will give you sufficient amount of time to really uh, study the uh, market or the area or the field or the product that you would like to perceive uh, as a business opportunity in Japan. Uh, so once that is done, I think you need to take a decision how to go about. Uh, so Guna, the, so first when you came here, mm -hmm. you don't know anything about Japan. You no. don't know how to do any yeah, this business. Is my first time, first time yeah. you are coming to Japan yes, yes. and uh, you don't know what business opportunity. So which product uh, you, you It came. was actually a lead acid car battery mm -hmm. which is related to automobiles like bikes, cars, trucks, heavy. You see that uh, in the car the black heavy battery. So that battery, uh, the, he, he wanted to explore, uh, you know, uh, taking from an uh, Indian company and uh, bring it here and because uh, Japan is a very big automobile yes, yes. Uh, uh, industry here so he wanted to explore the possibility mm -hmm. so even if we get like a half a percent or one percent of Japanese market that's going to be huge yes, yes. Uh, that is the initial uh, thought process yes 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 uh, so after you came uh, how did you start exploring where did you go uh, See, as I told you, this is my first time to Japan, so language is the preliminary constraint here. So nobody speaks English and nobody knows any other language other than Japanese. Uh, so I was solely surviving on uh, Google Translator. So, but of course that also helped me in terms of uh, only getting that information which is required rather than just uh, uh, scouting for all the unwanted information. And people are very helpful if you try to ask them the, uh, to help uh, they would definitely you know, do it in, gen in general. So that is not a... I would say language is not a barrier, but still that is the hurdle. So you need to handle it uh, the way that it uh, suits to you. Hmm. But I would recommend if you can learn little bit of Japanese, uh, like a uh, you know, few words 
uh, which are in common spoken in general that would actually help so initially i tried to help him out of my working hours uh, sometimes uh, so for example he speaks in english and i have to translate in japanese mm. the other person only speaks in japanese so it will take double the time yes, uh, yes, to yes. get the information and translate it and it takes a lot of, uh, lot time, of time and all yeah, that yeah. so uh, once you came here mm. uh, you approached uh, jetro or you approached which which section of uh, japan which promotes uh, business in japan see i initially uh, approached uh, of course jetro is one organization but jetro didn't really provide the full fledged information that was required mm. then uh, i was able to get some information from mipro mipro yeah what is mipro uh, mipro is manufactured industrial products uh, organization which mm. is a, a government uh, established organization they help and guide people uh, who okay. uh manufacture goods from uh, out of the uh, country which is japan mm. and then try to bring that product to japan and mm. then sell it uh, within the japan so they provide uh, you know uh, a broad level guidelines uh in terms What of, kind of uh, guidelines uh the product categorization is one thing mm. what kind of product you are trying to bring in mm. and what kind of regulations are there for that specific product mm. and uh, in case if there are any regulatory issues or uh, ministry of commerce and economics uh, licensing okay uh, all those uh, information so they, talk, they, they take they mention about uh, products product category and the licenses required mm-hmm. broadly product it not it can be specific product mm-hmm. if for sake if, if if they say if it is a uh, FMCG goods, mm. the dairy products, mm. uh, some automobile parts. So it will be a broad categorization of that sort, mm. not specifically mentioning this product. So under that category, they will try to give you broad guidelines mm. where you can go and find the information. Mm. They can only help you to find the information, mm. but they will not help you to get the things done. It's only an information organization. Okay. Okay. So once you have that. Uh, No. So you go there and you check uh, your product, which is lead acid battery for the car. Yes. yes Where yes. you can uh, uh, from there, which how to import you uh, get the information. What do you exactly? They will from? not give you that guidelines, mm. but they will tell you what is the government policy, mm. uh, what is the uh, regulatory policies. Okay. Okay. Uh, probably if they know they can also help you with uh, which government organization can give you more information on that okay so it will be like a, a broad uh, no 30000 feet uh, birds eye view kind of an information so it's not uh, specific it's not specific okay. you need to understand it very clearly okay okay they are not uh, they don't take responsibility of making you understand mm. but it is your responsibility to understand what they say <laughs> okay okay and they don't tell you in uh, english mm. all... everything everything is in japanese yes yes and uh, it is very difficult for the people uh, who are yes. coming here mm-hmm. and uh, so once you went to that uh, nipro uh, nipro mm-hmm. and uh, after that uh, where did you whom did so you approach? nipro they have a b- broad they gave me broad guidelines mm. uh, and they have suggested me to get the business manager. the visa okay and uh, business manager visa uh, they have a, a guideline how to apply how to provide the information mm. to apply to business manager visa okay okay uh, so all those information they gave me and mm. it was very detailed like you know like, it's like teaching to the kids okay okay uh, you don't have too much of a difficulty in understanding mm. but only thing is providing that much of information is tedious so it's like a, they give like a checklist yes yes so yes, yes. you you need this kind of product yes, or yes. this uh, much money yeah. or this kind of approach you have yes, to do yes, yes. so you need to fill all the requirements yes, 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 which yes. is very difficult very part. difficult i mean what they, is that very difficult for you uh see the whole book itself is about uh, 100 pages book uh-huh. the information it's everything is in japanese only uh they have an english version also in that okay. i mean only to the guidelines extent they have an english version hmm. and if you read that first uh, guideline book hmm. that will refer to at least another 5 to 6 different books again okay which is also provided by them hmm. but every one book is different one book uh, gives you guidelines uh, how to prepare a business plan okay and another book guideline book gives you how to prepare the financial plan oh and there is uh, one more guideline book uh, which says about uh, you know uh, the market uh, potential study plan mm. so there are some 5 6 books like that. and every book is about 50 60 pages oh so studying this and whole, a- everything free 
everything is free ah. there there is no charge on that okay. everything is free the consulting is free hmm. you can take appointment and uh, you can consult with them any and number and they speak english uh, there is only one translator for them hmm. so based on uh, the translator's availability the rest of other consultants will fix the appointment okay but you can take any number of appointments hmm. it's all free for them hmm. uh, free for us actually hmm. so you don't need to pay anything on that okay uh, but generally it will take at least a week's time um, uh, uh, schedule uh, okay. for them to book an appointment mm-hmm. you don't get it immediately like because their slots are filled the slots free, are already free, free. filled yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so okay. at least one week is the minimum time that so each take. meeting you need a one week yes 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 So in the three months, uh, you hardly have any time. To... Any time actually. Uh-huh. So I try to push myself and requesting them to <laughs> uh, get the appointments. So, so what I did was uh, I have given my questions uh, by mail, mm. and uh, they have replied uh, in Japanese. So I used Google Translator, and then I try to communicate more on uh, email so that uh, on Google especially, mm. so that uh, the translation was. made the little simpler so that i could cut short the time that is required okay so okay. in a way google translator really helped me okay that's the only thing <laughs> that is uh, you know yeah, 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 yeah the language is very really yes, tough yes yes in some cases i actually used uh, telugu to japanese translation also <laughs> that has helped me a lot okay. so uh, then you went to i mean they gave the guidelines yes yes and yes. Uh, after that whom you met so once i studied the guidelines i have understood that uh, there is a separate division called tosbek t o s b e c tosbek yeah tosbek mm. it's a government organization again mm. uh, like a tokyo one stop business establishment center so tokyo one stop business establishment center, center. tosbek tosbek mm. they have about uh, three three offices in tokyo mm. and uh, this is promoted by tokyo metropolitan government Uh, specific to Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Only, this only does not apply to other parts of Japan. This is only in Tokyo. So if you are going to start business in Tokyo, then this applies. Yes, Suppose yes, if you yes. go to Osaka, then it's a different task. different organization. But I think the Osaka also they have they some organization, something like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But Mipro can help you mm-hmm. because Mipro is uh, promoted by Japanese uh, government. Mm. so they have i didn't get the information about other parts of japan but ma mm. uh, mipro is like a uh, entire japanese government other yeah, central government and tospec uh, is a tokyo tokyo it's only for tokyo it's just like a vijayawada municipal authority yes 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 or tirupati municipal authority or hyderabad corporation um, the mipro is like a india uh, yes, yes, india level. yes yes okay okay so they have what three offices mm. just uh, fix an appointment you can be directly or they will also you know have the zoom call meetings mm. they also encourage that i mean that specifically so you went of, to this uh, tospec yeah tospec huh. so in tospec uh, like uh, no initially i had lot of uh, uh, of course the, it, it was just an understanding gap because of the language barrier mm. uh, it took there there also no english speakers uh mostly no mm-hmm. you have to wait for somebody like if you have 10 consultants maybe mm-hmm. one or two consultants will be of english speaking mm-hmm. and that too it's only preliminary you don't have mm-hmm. that fluency mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not a sentence it's like a broken yes yes broken you need, it it will be all broken mm-hmm. and you will you will get uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, frustrated you will get confused mm-hmm. there is so much of a possibility that you can misunderstand the communication mm-hmm. their intention is not to confuse you but uh, the 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 language expressions are like that like they that. the japanese expressions are not very clear yes yes uh, they sometimes is very difficult to say whether they want you to uh, progress uh, or they want to ch- recheck yourself yeah so it is in between that yes yes so yes. going backward or going forward you are always in the middle yeah so after half an hour of talk also you will be in the same position same position, position. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, that uh, very clear because 100% guarantee 100% surety nobody give in japan mm-hmm. even if it is 100% they say maybe 10 15% possibility or 50% possibility yes. so for our indian mind we are very specific because he is spending so much money Uh, to come and live here and all that so mm-hmm. it is a uh, every day counts yes 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 mm-hmm. 
so once i approached tosback it took me a lot of time to really understand uh, what they are trying to do or they are trying what uh, what they can help me mm. so once i understood that then uh, they helped me they helped me a lot i mean in terms of uh, uh, preparing the business plan preparing the financial plan is it free yeah it's all free tosback is all free mm. jetro is all free mm. they have consultants mm. uh, specifically for msme hmm. if it is non uh, uh, no sme i mean uh, mid size small. and small size businesses hmm. uh, jetro has got a direct uh, uh, i would say counseling for the big companies for the big companies ah. big corporates big companies but you are a individual i am an individual hmm. uh, sme segment uh, business the do there is a some kind of a, a kind of a support hmm. product wise yes. from india mm. but in japan uh, you are going to do everything by yourself yes, yes, yes. all the investment is yours yes, yes. Uh, all the decision making is yours. yours yeah yeah okay so you are basically one man army uh yeah kind of mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so once you understand from tosbeck uh, no then probably you need to take the help of uh, they call uh, they call him as the administrative scrivener Mm. it's something like a consultant come a legal lawyer kind of a role in mm. india mm. Uh, uh, but here it is little different they call him as administrative scrivener mm. so he knows how to uh, uh, prepare the business plan mm. uh, and then uh, prepare your uh, visa plan uh, apply for that mm. uh, represent you uh, uh, represent on behalf of you mm. and then try to process all so you things. you explain them what is your purpose of coming so and what product you want to sell how you want to sell what is your financial uh, <coughs> in the future how much you plan to sell or uh, all those things you provide uh, yes, how, yes. how does it yeah work? they need actually much more detail than that mm. uh, because uh, once you understand and speak to mipro consultants mm. Uh, you get a fair idea mm. and then you have to speak to tosbeck mm. then you will get uh, no little deeper understanding on the formats data and all those things mm. you have to really spend so much of time in reading all those information uh, or the guideline books that is given by mipro how long does it take it ta- for me it took about 3 uh, months 3 months yes to read yes 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 then when will you prepare the plan you, you have to understand in that detail it's huh. not that uh, easy to though they give you step by step mm. it's really uh, tedious to understand all those things because mm. the indian way of uh, format is different mm. and japanese way of format is different so they look at it from a different uh, you know mm. format altogether to understand the format itself will take you time but your visa itself is 3 months how do you manage that yeah after i because the decision was not uh, taken uh, Uh, in the initial stages mm. because it took me that the for the visa was only for uh, 90 days in the first place mm. so after completing that uh, it took me about 6 7 months to really apply for my uh, mm. uh, business manager visa mm-hmm. so there was a lot of back and forth uh, communication between me and my administrative scrivener mm-hmm. so she had a lot of questions and uh, i have to answer at some point of time i gave up actually mm. so whenever uh, because uh, the the japanese uh, the screener uh, always uh, come up with lot of questions sometimes small questions yeah. but repeatedly repeatedly asking the same question yes, yes, yes. so guna became very frustrated he said what uh, kind of say what the hell is this <laughs> what nonsense and what time time waste and all that so he wanted to go back and suppose he goes in the morning and uh, he talks to them and he comes back and uh, he is like uh, kind of depressed yeah, yeah. and uh, i try to encourage him uh, so then again uh, next day again a new war <laughs> start again going and uh, trying yeah yeah so it's not uh, depressed actually see uh, the smallest things also they try to uh, uh, elaborate it in such a way that you uh, know it, it it's can not relevant example? can you give a small example where you get frustrated like uh there are so many things actually mm. uh but just to give you the financials see when when you say that i'm i'm starting a business and this is my business plan this is my projections mm. they will ask you uh, you know 
or do you have an existing customer see mm. when i'm when i'm applying itself i have declared that this is a new business and mm. coming new so mm. they will ask you whether do you have an existing customer when you say no mm. they will ask you why why it's no mm. why there is no existing customer mm. <laughs> you have to give a lot of explanation why there is no existing customer then how how you, is possible you are going that's no it, yeah that is exactly what you uh, know mm. i was th- this was just one small thing mm. there are so many things like that where in the first stages you definitely don't have uh, any understanding or you don't have any clue mm. but they want you to explain why there is no clue mm. <laughs> so they want you to explain why there, why is, there no is no clue, clue. but still you want to start a business ah ah so when when i say that then how can you say this is your business plan hmm. so then i thought to see uh, depending on the economic condition hmm. uh, product potential product hmm. requirement hmm. existing products that are available in that category where i would like to uh, do business or start business hmm. these are all the broad level potential so i am just trying to play that initial then they will ask you when you are trying to do that you uh, know whether all the other product players have done the same way that what you are doing hmm, 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 hmm. see you don't get that depth of information uh, about other players for example he want to sell the led acid battery hmm. so they will ask uh, what about the other uh, competitors did yes. they follow the same same method? procedure same are procedure? you following the procedure what they have followed but uh, you you don't have any choice to find out uh, i mean broadly you can know uh, the data depending on the organization product and mm-hmm. uh, you know a company mm-hmm. but that is only to the extent of the information that is available in the public domain mm-hmm. which is not uh, you know applicable or mm-hmm. it might not, not be relevant mm-hmm. but they will ask you specific questions whether they have followed the procedure mm-hmm. but how will oh. we know that mm-hmm. Uh, if we say that I don't know, mm. so they will. The next question is, without knowing that, how can you do this business? Mm-hmm. So it's like uh, egg, and chicken, egg and chicken kind of a thing, which ah. is the first. So ah. you have no clue, mm. and uh, this question itself will, uh, you know, make you <laughs> frustrated, and that that will take a longer time. Mm-hmm. So. to make so, them understand luckily i mean guna is staying with me <laughs> so he is living in my house so every time uh, he has anything any things to question or answer the uh, cultural aspect because i'm here already 27 years in japan continuously so i try to you know yeah. try to hmm. maybe you can tell him rather than i tell yes 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 initial stages you no know, i took i mean sai helped me a lot in terms of understanding uh, though i don't want to disturb him quite often because he is he is uh, no has got his own uh, job here so i don't want to take a lot of him but despite all that he took a lot of effort in terms of uh, mm-hmm. trying to make me understand uh, how the people culture and uh, no country behaves and things like that that helped me a lot in terms of perceiving things uh, you know uh, continuously mm-hmm. so in that way no sai helped me a lot so the after my initial uh, uh, no the 90 day perseverance so i no really looked at starting the uh, no uh, company here hmm. uh, so coming to the financial aspect uh, hmm. uh, are you can you is it possible for you to tell hmm. uh, how much you have to bring how what are the what is requirements and all that yeah so once you because un- many people think mm-hmm. in india mm-hmm. maybe 10 lakhs enough or 5 lakhs enough or, mm-hmm. uh, so cost of living part mm-hmm. as a new person okay. coming here mm-hmm. that also you tell yes, yes. and uh, how much money you have to bring okay. that also okay. so once you understand the mipro uh, guideline books uh, you should no read it three times four times you know depending on your ability to understand that so i better suggest at least you read two to three times to understand it clearly so that it will help you to take a proper direction for you rather than coming backward and forward uh, you know once you start uh, perceiving the uh, opportunities in japan mm. so once you complete that then you have to uh, you know approach uh, tosbek i think tosbek uh, even before coming to japan you can approach tosbek actually mm. being outside of japan mm. you can approach tosbek mm. uh, they will give you the uh, consulting Which meetings through mm. zoom call mm. oh, sorry mm. and uh, they will uh, no uh, guide you how to process for business manager visa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so business manager visa is the one which will uh, give you the ability to do business in japan mm. and uh, once you apply 
they take about uh, two to three months. Uh, and after submitting the documents. After submitting all the documents. So documents include what? Uh, documents. The first document that is the uh, business plan, mm. and the continuation document is the financial plan, mm. and then uh, they will uh, ask you all your. Uh, Uh, academic background, hmm. your financial background, hmm. uh, like what your, business your, you have done before, and all that. Yes, yes, hmm. yes. Hmm. They will ask you what businesses you have done, how much you have earned, hmm. and how much uh, you have uh, in in your uh, no bank reserves or hmm. as your assets. They have to show your bank balance. Yes, yes, yes. You have to show that, hmm. and uh, you should also show them the tax returns. Hmm. Indian tax. Indian tax hmm. returns. Hmm. Uh, I, th- I think three years tax mm, returns. Mm, two mm. years, I think. Yeah. I, I provided them three years, mm. but I think they ask about two years. Okay. And uh, you have to be very, you know, clear in terms of uh, uh, providing your CV mm. and your all the uh, all that that you have done from past twenty thirty years. Past twenty thirty years. Yes, yes, yes. You have to give them all the. You no, know, in your CV you have to describe uh, ah. where right not, from not, your. Not school. the not the financial details, but uh, not your, the financial details, but fin- your past two to three years balance sheet will tell them. Hmm. So financial details is only for two three two to three years. Three years. And uh, your uh, growth path, basically your bio data kind of thing. Yes. Uh, yes. For uh, past twenty thirty years. I mean, depending on yeah, your age. Yeah. I mean, uh, from your schooling, you, you have to tell. Oh. You uh, know, you have to describe. Uh, no where you have done schooling where mm. you have done college mm-hmm. uh, after college what you have done if there is any gap between uh, your co- college uh, timing also they will ask you why there is a gap mm-hmm. if there is a gap in your uh, no a job mm. they will ask you why there is a gap mm. if there is a gap in your business they will ask you why there is a gap mm-hmm. in business mm-hmm. so all these questions they will ask and everything uh, he submits in english and everything will be translated yeah, in yeah, yeah. So, japanese and sometimes it's very difficult to translate indian institution names yes yes yes, yes. so uh, my administrative scrivener she helped me a lot in translating all my english documentation to japanese because uh, the uh, immigration uh, no bureau they don't understand english so you're talking trans- about the current person you are using yeah the my current uh, administrative scrivener uh-huh. but most admit administrative scriveners are handling uh, non japanese mm. so most of them know english okay. not fluent but mm-hmm. to the extent of handling the discussion or situation mm-hmm. yeah that is there. you're talking about the person who applied for your visa Oh, yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So uh, he is very, very fortunate and very lucky because uh, he found a, a right uh, person mm. who's a, who is she's a lady, yeah. and uh, she is very, very passionate to help foreigners. Yeah. It is not a kind of a business; it is her uh, a kind of a hobby, hobby also. Yeah. Mm. Um, otherwise, you know, in Japan, every hour they charge uh, minimum. If you if you ask somebody, lowest they will charge at least. Uh, Three uh, thousand to five thousand uh, 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 rupees. Yes, yes, yes. Rupees, rupees terms, it's about five to six thousand. Five to six thousand per one hour. One hour. And, and Japanese yen, it will be somewhere around ten to fifteen thousand. Ah, ten to fifteen thousand per hour. So if we want to uh, ask you to come to uh, suppose a bank account opening or something, hmm. so you have to pay for the transportation. The the time they start from their home. Yeah. And uh, come here. That itself take one hour or something like that. And yes, uh, yes, yes. all that will be calculated. Every minute count. It's like a meter reading. Yeah. So like a taxi meter. Yes, yes, yes. So and it will be really expensive. So uh, fortunately, he has uh, identified. Uh, he talked with uh, three or four people. Yeah. And uh, in that, he has selected one person. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she is. Uh, I also met her several times. Yeah. I also communicated with her because uh, sometimes uh, she also doesn't understand what he thinks. Yes. yes. Uh, because uh, she, because I understand the Japanese mind, mm. so she is able to connect with me easily mm. and un- try to understand through me how what he really want to do. Yes. Though even he explained very clearly, that doesn't uh, properly filter into her. Yeah, yeah. So that is a cultural aspect is there. So that I have to enter in the middle and try to communicate and uh, yes. try to help uh, help him out. And I always say I am there. I am like his uh, brother and I am <laughs> able to support him because. Uh, you know because of this uh, my my continuous background here there's uh, the communication went on smooth yeah. but for a normal people if you don't know anyone if you suddenly come mm. uh, sorry i'm deviating Let, let's no, go no. back mm. uh, let's go back to first business part okay mm. 
so once you do that uh, then you have to uh, you know uh, prepare your business plan mm. and then uh, financial plan mm. and then your cv mm. uh, clubbing all all of them you have to you know find a good uh, administrative scrivener mm. and then uh, you have to uh, uh, give them the uh, permission to apply on behalf of you mm. so they will take all the information and then they'll prepare uh, uh, is the administrative scrivener the fees are very high uh usually what is the range you, you need not tell exact this time but uh, yeah it range? ranges around uh, 150000 yen to 250000 yen uh roughly 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees uh yeah 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh rupees 1 1 lakh to 2 lakhs oh, rupees in rupees yeah 1 to 2 lakh rupees for the administrative screener screener who, screener who uh, takes his data and uh, translate into japanese and uh, submit to the government authorities and also immigration oh yes yes mm. so the process is something like this mm. first you have to get the uh, business plan approved by uh, tmg tokyo metropolitan government mm. it's not a visa mm. first your business plan should be get uh, approved mm. Mm. so once your business plan gets approved then you have to apply for the immigration bureau so this business so plan it's approval two stages uh, so he he and she together prepare the business plan yes, yes. and uh, she will submit on behalf of guna uh, to the tokyo metropolitan government tmg and uh, there is a one stop uh, uh, tospec is there mm. so they have a particular uh, systematic steps are there mm. so mm. you have to fit in and follow all that yes. and uh, then uh, there is a person in the tokyo metropolitan government mm. uh, and the tokyo metropolitan that person will check whether it is suitable or not yes. whether it is uh, acceptable or not what is the benefit uh, accepting <coughs> him what is a benefit for japanese government or mm. tokyo especially mm. so and uh, then there is lot of interviews yes. they will also check because i i was watching him yeah. uh, because we both are here <laughs> one house only so uh, uh, they they will ask uh, each and every question and they will suggest to modify it modify it yes yes how many times they made you to modify uh, i did about 10 15 times actually ha huh, modification yeah, modifications ha huh. and uh, all the time you are talk communicating with the tmg yes 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 uh yeah communication was actually in uh, in in parallel with our administrative scrivener mm. because i just want to keep her posted all the communication that i am doing mm. so they will uh, it's it's again what i said in the beginning like you uh, know the mipro has given a clear guideline so i couldn't really understand that one mm. though i can understand the content mm. uh but when you submit your business plan uh, the questions what they ask you can easily correlate to the initial guidelines what they have given so that's why i would suggest to read the guidelines uh, properly and yeah. try to understand basically it. japan is like a uh, textbook and question answer yes, yes, a yes. guideline guide book like yeah, we yeah, do yeah. in the exams yes, no yes. so they will give a textbook you follow this question each one and the person who check also check in the same way same manner, same manner no deviation nothing mm-hmm. so if you study this one you fulfill this one you get it kind of yes, thing yes 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 so once you uh, no uh, 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 submit your business plan and all the 2 and 4 questions and 10 15 times yeah mm. uh, is completed then uh, finally it will get uh, approved mm. uh, i mean to say if it gets approved mm. uh, tokyo metropolitan will give you uh, a certificate mm. so taking that certificate you need to apply for the 6 uh, months business manager visa so, so first you come 3 uh, months visa and uh, first 3 months visa is a family visiting family visa. visiting visa and then after that it took about 7 months mm-hmm. uh, during that 7 months is the entire processing mm-hmm. and after that uh, i got 6 months business manager visa first family visa which which i mm-hmm. uh, which i gave all mm-hmm. the papers to you mm-hmm. and the family business visa you came here yes. and after that in that 3 months you have gone to all these organization which you mentioned in the 3 months what i did was you know basically studied the entire uh, Uh, the business potential in japan mm. uh, the various industries that uh, mm-hmm. can be uh, perceived by uh, uh, indian business uh, community specifically mm. Mm. and then you uh, know looked upon uh, uh, the opportunities or the ways that we can do mm. or uh, you know how to come here or how to start it and mm. all these things mm-hmm. so that is my initial study for uh, the first 3 months mm. and then uh, i also looked at uh, you know uh, 
how how we can process uh, mm. or apply for a business but in this 3 months only you met all these three organizations yes 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 yes, yes. so basically your uh, uh, initial study mm. you did in the first 3 months time yes 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 and after that you went back to india yes and meanwhile uh, your uh, administrative scrivener she applied for a tokyo metropolitan office yes, yes. Uh, metropolitan so government. i met the administrative scrivener uh, in my first 90 day visit itself mm. so in the last week last 10 days so that i had couple of meetings with her mm. and then uh, we agreed upon that we will process for the business manager visa mm. and then she agreed so after that we started communicating but mm. that was all on uh, either web meetings or email mm. Mm. while i was in india and she is in japan mm. so uh, you applied and uh, the tokyo metropolitan government uh, communicated with you 10 10 15 times to check the process yes. and after that they gave a certificate to yes, you yes yes and that certificate uh, she has to take with your passport details and all that on that and uh, apply for the immigration immigration bureau so when uh, when he apply for uh, this thing uh, they because uh, i am uh, i was initially i sponsored him and uh, because he is with me they, hmm. he has to show uh where he is living yeah and uh, i have to show again all my financial data and even the house where we are living yes, yes. this house plan how many rooms we have and uh, they even asked uh, because i signed almost all his documents uh, related to you know this relationship mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. they have asked me uh, how many children i have and which school they are studying mm-hmm. and uh, what is their age where did they born their details their uh, yeah, registration cards all oh, it's right. like uh, suppose he, of course he's a good man but if he does anything and goes away uh, if they they wanted to hold somebody responsible, responsible that's yeah. the main thing so yes. to the to the minute level they asked i was wondering why uh, that much level of uh, you know things uh, required mm. so so much to to my my to my children's school name uh, which standard they are studying all to that and the house and my financial data not only one month or one year this is long data and uh, all the details i have to provide then based on that uh, he uh, of course this is one part and uh, his financial part is business plan mm-hmm. part the screener applied yeah so what i want to say is if you just uh, sit in india and dream uh, oh i have a good product i can sell in japan what do you think about it uh see i wouldn't uh, you no know, blindly recommend anything you no know, uh, any good product see in that way if you look at japan has got really good products hmm. but uh, i wonder why <laughs> they are not able to go out to the world and sell the products so well, i think i feel that you no know, they are kind of uh, uh, handicapped or incapable of you know really marketing the good products what they have mm. uh, the same case will apply even to india mm, mm, mm. because uh, we have so many good products in india uh, it's like a kind of a handicapped or inability mm. that uh, indian business community is not going out and then uh, uh, no selling or uh, mm-hmm. getting good markets out there mm-hmm. uh, so you have to put in real time effort and money into that mm-hmm. it's not that easy mm-hmm. and uh, it's very very complicated and uh, you need to be a real real businessman uh, and you need to have a uh, 3 years of uh, financial letter that to if you just saw 10 20 lakh 50 lakh and all doesn't work uh it should be it's not about money, money. actually mm-hmm. uh, the business manager visa preliminary requirement is you have to bring in 5 million yen mm. as a investment from india 5 Japan. million yen is how much 5 million yen would be somewhere around uh, 25 to 30 lakhs yeah should be around 25 to 30 lakh rupees mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that's the indian rupees 25 to 30 lakhs yes. is the as as per the rule 5 million you have to 5 bring, million, 5 million yen bring in mm. and that uh, this thing should get reflected in your financial plan and your in your business plan mm-hmm. so in, it should be in line with that and do you have to hire some japanese people is it a rule there are a couple of uh, options if mm. you hire two uh, full time employees mm. uh, that is fine mm. or you bring in 5 million yen either 5 million yen or, or two, two full time employees two full time employees even if it uh, lowest salary it will be one yeah, person it will be 5 million 5 yeah. million and per person yes yes, yes. so 25 lakhs lowest uh, <laughs> is uh, because you cannot survive with that much yes, money yes yes uh, so uh, you unless so it is better to bring 5 million in not 
better it's mandatory mandatory uh, oh. you have to bring in 5 million yen okay. only then you will get a 6 months business manager visa okay okay so once you get the 5 million yen hmm. they will uh, no give you so you transfer the money so you, you can have to transfer the money so show the proof of is transfer. it uh, what range you brought or what what did you do uh no my business plan is entirely different mm. so that is uh, no mm. uh, it's it's actually above than what the limitation that they have set so but the minimum investment that you need to bring as per the guidelines yes, has is 5 million yen mm. and the 5 million yen plus your uh, living expenses also you need to think about no But that is something, something we need to think, need to about, think about that they will not ask you mm. uh, but uh, they will ask you how much money you are bringing in mm. and that should be 5 million yen mm. and you have to show the proof of your transfer mm. 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 but of course when you get the first 6 months business manager visa that is not required mm. because that is the time that they want you to come here uh, find a office space or find uh, the uh, commercial uh, business space that you wanted to operate mm. uh establish the company mm, mm. they they have two types of companies like uh, kk and gk mm, mm. kabudu kaisha and godo kaisha mm. uh, kk like, is uh, kabushik kaisha and uh, gk is godo kaisha so mm. it's like uh, kaisha means company uh, llc and uh, limited company mm, mm, uh, once you start the company then you need to open the uh, personal bank account as well as the company bank account mm-hmm. so once you do that you have to transfer your uh, initial investment mm-hmm. minimum is 5 million yen mm-hmm. from indian uh, bank to mm-hmm. the japanese bank mm-hmm. uh, and then uh, show all this documentation and then apply for uh, renewal of your visa again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so once you apply that it should be at least 1 uh, month to 45 days before your visa expires so that 6 months we service within that 6 months mm. so once you complete around 4 4 and 1/2 month by the time you should complete all these activities mm. and then submit so in this activity it. include finding an office yes yes, yes. and for office what are the re- regulations uh, there are a lot mm. there are a lot of regulations actually mm. uh, and to my surprise uh, most of the cases they don't <laughs> they don't give you office space to the foreigners mm. so with some of my you know earlier experience and uh, you know uh, friends references i could able to get it in rigas office mm. uh, he has seen at least uh, 20 offices more uh, than more than more than that more than that so he has to go and uh, see uh, different different offices because office. not all buildings you can open an office there's a for the business there's a office space kind of thing and yeah. uh, these offices uh, because if you take a bigger office is so expensive yes yes so you know, broadly saying japan is really expensive mm-hmm. i mean it's unimaginable expensive mm. so for example if you want to take a small office where uh, like uh, how much size is like uh, uh maybe like a two or three dining table size <laughs> see apart from the commercial space i would say the personal expenses are huge if you don't have at least a lack of indian rupees uh, which is about 1 and 1/2 million to 2 million yen hmm. per month and uh, not 1 million yen ah uh, sorry 1 uh, lakh yen 1 lakh yen 1 uh, lakh yeah, 2 lakh yen 2 lakh yen 2 yeah, lakh yen yeah. which is about 1 1 1/2 lakh rupees hmm. uh, you can't uh, no have good food <laughs> <laughs> I I am little uh, no I would he say he is a, he though he can eat non veg but he is a pure vegetarian so his food exempt uh, consumption is consumption very low, is, is very yes, low and yeah, very yeah. very simple food otherwise that also is not enough yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, for example uh, regarding the housing nobody give house uh, if your yes, foreigner comes yes, yes, yes. they will ask again the guarantor so somebody you need to know to sign and generally nobody signs as a guarantor because of the risks and all that so uh, generally they don't uh, you know getting house you need to be prepared for 6 months 5 to 6 months of rent yes yes uh, if you want to take so, so uh, the minimum guarantee period is what they would ask you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you have to really uh, Uh, look at what timelines that you are looking at to rent it out and uh, the office also there is like a one year minimum you have to take two year minimum you have to take like no, that is there no depends mm. it depends on the pricing mm. if you are willing to pay higher price they mm. will even give you for a month mm. i mean i am talking about only on the regus and mm. the wework office spaces mm. 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 
बट इन जनरल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक ए बिगर ऑफिस और यू आर ट्राइंग टू अप्रोच दी जपनीज कंपनीज दे लुक एट सम थ्री इयर्स फाइव इयर्स नो काइंड ऑफ एन अग्रीमेंट विच दैट मीन सपोज यू टेक टू इयर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यू लिव ओनली यू स्टेड ओनली वन इयर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू वेकेट यू हैव टू पे फॉर द एंटायर थिंग एंटायर टू इयर्स Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. No, whatever the contract that you have signed, you have See, to. Even pay. if you, you you cannot vacate, even if you vacate, you have to pay for the entire yeah, contract yeah, period. Yeah. Mm. That is uh, that is something that you are agreeing in the first mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. So that you have to pay. So you have to uh, factor in the amount, uh, how long you are going to take, and how much expenses it will be, and all yes. that. Mm-hmm. You have to really plan the financial planning. Mm. Otherwise, uh, no. So office rents will be what range? See a three meter square office, private office with uh, lock and key mm. uh, in uh, Regus would cost anywhere between sixty to seventy thousand yen per month. Three meter square. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that is one thing. Mm. That is a, 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 a that is a, a approximately Indian rupees around thirty thousand rupees. Yeah, thirty forty thousand. Thirty forty thousand rupees mm. per month. Per month. Mm. and uh, you can commit yeah, they can give you how many answer. people can sit in that i think two people mm-hmm. can sit comfortably mm-hmm. same like this the dining table size yeah it's kind of the room is like a dining table mm-hmm. uh, one small table, small table one chair or mm-hmm. two chairs mm-hmm. so if you turn you will hit the other person not that squeezed eh? uh-huh. but you will get little space mm-hmm. that's okay because mm-hmm. uh, Here in Japan, what I found very strange is roads are wide and houses are small. <laughs> <laughs> That's very strange, actually. People live in very you know small places, but you will find real big roads, which uh, which my luckily luckily the place we are staying is uh, broad enough. I mean that the, the no across these, wherever the places yeah, are yeah, gone, yeah, Sagar. Yeah, yeah. It's all uh, roads are really broad. Uh, uh, it's all. Uh, Now he is talking about the bigger roads. You know, provisioned uh, 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 all the places. Yeah. See so the old city, they have a narrow roads, mm-hmm. but they okay. also have the same Let's regulations. Let's uh, come back to the financial aspect again. <laughs> so the, you have to sign like one year or two year agreement uh, yeah, based on the. No, it depends. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sign an agreement for one year. That's mm-hmm. not mandatory. Okay. You can sign only for one month. Oh. One month also. Yeah, yeah. See, mm. uh, but if you sign for one month, we do they give visa? You need to show the document, no? Yeah, I'm saying about that is different part. Ah. See, I'm saying only to the extent of uh, taking an office space, mm. you can sign a contract for one month. Mm. But the price of your one month rent will be higher. Okay. For example, sixty thousand. If I sign a contract for one year, they'll say sixty thousand. Mm. But if I say I'll sign it only for one month, they'll say seventy thousand. Okay. Okay. uh if you are not sure but for the visa purpose as a business manager hmm. how long you have to show you have to sign at least for 6 months because your first this thing is for 6 months mm-hmm. so you have to sign for 6 months okay yeah. okay okay but again they don't ask you to vacate hmm. but you can continue to keep paying rent as long as you want okay it's not that uh, once your contract is uh, completed you will vacate so you have to pay for the office rent you have to pay for the, your living expenses living your uh, residential expenses. expenses travel expenses yes and uh, you will have to pay for the, your health insurance yes all yes, that yes. Uh, things are there yes yes after health insurance you have after he gets a uh, 6 months visa then he is like a person who is staying in japan, japan. Mm-hmm. he has to pay for the pension he has to pay for the health insurance and uh, his living expenses yes 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 so unless uh, you have a what range of money you need for office uh, living so 3 lakh yen yeah 3 lakh yen is is the bare minimum i would say uh-huh. you would need at least 4 to 5 lakh yen which is about 2 and a half to 3 lakh rupees per Indian month rupees per month for a single person yeah so mm-hmm. that's for one person actually mm-hmm. So uh, six months, uh, you got a visa, hmm. and uh, after that, what happened? So once that is done, then we started, you uh, know, real uh, uh, getting the uh, business uh, activity hmm. Hmm. happening, hmm. and uh, yeah, that again is uh, is again one more tedious activity, I would say. Hmm. I mean, there is both. I would say positive hmm. as well as uh, you know, little bit of. Uh, uh, i would say <coughs> discouraging as well mm-hmm. because things don't change uh, uh, very quickly here mm. it will take lot of time and effort to really 
make things happen in first place mm. and secondly once it is changed it will stay for a longer period mm. for the same reason they don't change mm. in first place mm. once it is changed they also they don't change it again because of the same reason i think you are slowly talking like japanese now <laughs> so make it more uh, simple and clear yeah, yeah yeah i mean they don't change the product mm. in first place mm. but if they change the product mm. again they will not go for a different product because the product is already there okay it's okay, something okay, like that. okay okay so uh, so the first 3 uh, months finished 6 uh, months finished yeah. and uh, then again you apply for uh, Uh, one year visa yes 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 there were a lot of hurdles for me so to overcome all those things it took really time so 6 uh, months finished now then you are applying for uh, the 6 yeah. months is for uh, to establish basic basic infrastructure yeah the basic uh, establishment of your office mm-hmm. uh, your business uh, mm. uh, communication uh, finding clients or mm-hmm. finding uh, mm. uh, the import export regulations mm, mm, you know, mm. probably finding consultants mm. or the hiring people who can work for you okay so all this thing setting up the bank bringing in the funding mm. uh, or probably even bringing in the product and mm. try to sell it here so mm. all these things you need to do in that 6 uh, months mm-hmm. and then at least one month or 45 days before of your visa expiry you need to apply for the visa mm. in my case i had a lot of hurdles so it took me to the edge of my visa expired mm. so march 10th was my visa expire i could only apply it by march 4th okay so but they had a provision saying that if you have applied before your visa expiry mm. they would uh, by default uh, consider 2 uh, months of uh, over stay of your uh, visa expires so after march uh, a march 10th is finished yeah uh, by that time you already applied yeah uh, yes. so march uh, april and may may till may 9th uh, they it's by default they have allowed me to stay in japan mm. though i have my visa expired okay and uh, i got my visa renewal by uh, i think 40 days 40 45 after days after 45 days of his appra- uh, application uh, from 6 months visa uh, then he got uh, one, one year, year visa. visa one year business manager visa, visa. yes yes okay business mm-hmm. manager visa is the only visa that allows you to do the commercial activity in japan mm. so this one after one year uh, after suppose you finished that one year again they'll give you one year yeah so at least 3 uh, to 4 times they will give you only one one year extension mm. depending on your uh, business progress mm. and uh, your financial growth or business growth mm. so all these things they will uh, review mm. end of uh, every one year uh, uh, visa renewal mm. Uh, if they find it uh, contributing to Japanese uh, uh, economy, mm. and if they find it uh, encouraging and progressing, mm. they would then give anywhere between three to five years. Okay, after uh, three or four years. Uh, yeah, after three or four years. So until the first, the first uh, two to three years, they would give only one one year visa. Okay, okay. I mean, that. though I have applied for five year <laughs> business manager visa, they gave me only one year. One year. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now you got the visa. Yes. and what are the hurdles you have faced now how do you 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 gone through almost 2 years of journey yes yes yes, yes. Uh, coming here yeah. and uh, doing everything mm-hmm. here so what is the uh, I mean, now what is a uh, you have uh, any hurdles or everything is smooth it's definitely not smooth i mean business itself is definitely not smooth not this just in japan but mm. uh, anywhere in the world mm. uh, because uh, there is nobody to answer your questions mm. it is you who has to answer all the questions mm-hmm. so it's it's that's how it is mm-hmm. uh most of uh, the uh, the hurdles that what you face mm-hmm. is uh, is actually making the business progress mm-hmm. so that takes a lot of time in japan mm-hmm. they, they don't just believe like that there is so many so many reasons what i see mm-hmm. like you know cultural issues and uh, uh no most of the uh, business community they think that uh, is there any product which is coming from out of japan which is higher the quality than japan so uh-huh. they take it as a pride so basically because they are also selling lead acid batteries in japan mm-hmm. is your battery is far better than japanese product will you be able to sell that's the that's the thing you are saying yeah that is one one dimension to that mm-hmm. but in general they take pride in their own products mm-hmm. so 
even if their products are higher the price mm. if you bring in lower price products mm. they don't take it so you mean to say suppose indian battery say 100 rupees mm. japanese batteries 100 rupees mm. or uh, japanese batteries 120 rupees mm. still they will same quality mm. still they buy only japanese products even if japanese battery is 200 they will buy only japanese <laughs> even if it is 200 yes, they will yes, buy only japanese yes, products yes, yes. it's that difference uh -huh. mm. So how it's very tough to beat uh, on the pricing front you can't beat them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't just mind. by reducing price you cannot you beat them. You cannot. Mm -hmm. Even the quality is very much similar. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the quality, product, and all these things. If you just try to play the price game, mm -hmm. it will not happen. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now. Uh, how is uh, uh, how difficult is to bring money to Japan and uh, uh, what are the things uh, somebody has to take care? Uh, is there any what are the pos positive sides or negative sides uh, for it? Because uh, why I am asking this? Mm. Uh, some of the people mm. uh, from India, mm. my viewers, mm -hmm. they will ask me. So I have a wonderful product. Mm. I wanted to bring to Japan and mm. sell. Mm -hmm. uh, can you sell? Or there is a product in Japan. Mm. Can you send me? I, I was looking for this product. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they think it's just like going to. I mean, I'm not uh, saying anything negative. Mm -hmm. It's just like going to nearby D Mart or supermarket buying thing, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, you're going to somewhere and selling thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I would suggest is if somebody want to. Take a product from Japan and then probably sell it in India mm. is more far better and mm. far easier. Far mm. easier. Mm. Uh, rather than a product bringing from outside Japan and then selling it in Japan. In Japan. Mm. So that is uh, my view. Mm. But depending on the product mm -hmm. and its pot potential mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. if the product itself doesn't exist in Japan, mm -hmm. there is a higher likely and possibility that you can sell it in Japan. Mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, in so many ways and means culturally also uh, all the Japanese needs and requirements mm. uh, is not similar what the other